Delvin, first home game, how, how's it feel? Um, it's exciting to uh, be the first home opener for the season and my senior year, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, is it gonna, I feel like it's going to be a big game because it's our first home game at the National Championship. You consciously kind of take it in more because it is your senior year? Um, I guess you could say that, yeah, but any home game here is just the same as the other. Uh, they're pretty exciting throughout the whole season. We just found out Raekwon's clear, just the way like, his ceiling could be, and how exciting is that that he's kind of fully in the mix, like this could be fully in the mix. Oh, yeah, um, it's exciting because uh, it's another player we could have in the rotation. Um, He's been working hard in practice just like any other D-lineman. I feel like he deserves a chance to get out there and just play and enjoy himself. Talk about this offense. Uh, they like to throw it around. Mm -hmm. uh, how important it is to get at the quarterback early, I guess, so they, they won't have success, I guess. Okay, say that again. Just, just how important it is to get at the quarterback since they're going to be throwing it around a lot. Um, I feel like it's going to be very important because if we can affect the quarterback early on in the game, um, I feel like he'll, he, his passes won't be on point throughout the, at the end of the game and stuff like that. So we get affect him early on. It's just we have a better chance of being more successful throughout the whole game. Based on what happened in the game uh, last Saturday, and based mm -hmm. on what the time seeing practice those on the other side of the ball, just the poise of Jalen being a young guy, kind of having poise like that, does that, does that take you back and press sometimes the way he can be poised? Um, being here in the Alabama standard, uh, I wouldn't expect anything less of Jalen to go out there and respond the way he did. So I'm, I'm happy for him, and I'm glad he performed the way he did last week, and hope he can continue to play like that. How do you keep your feet on the ground when so many people nationally are talking so highly about the defense after just one game? Um, pretty much we really don't look at the media standpoint. Uh, we come in every day and we look at all the things we messed up and focus on how, how we could get better in, week in and week out. So um, as people praising us, we see the work, bad things we've done throughout the whole game and we just feel like we need to get better and better every week. After the game Saturday, Saban said he'd like to see maybe more guys ro rotate in on the mm -hmm. front seven. Uh, is there anyone, maybe some of the younger guys who haven't got as much experience before that you expect to see you know, as the season progresses? Um, as the season progresses, I feel like you can see almost uh, all of our defensive linemen rotating in just because the way they've been working throughout the offseason and during fall camp, um, they've proven to the coaches and myself that they could play. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to get more of a rotation throughout the whole season because um, we got a lot of SEC teams to face and it's going to be a long season. Nick Saban just said it's, it's like this, you know, something goes wrong, it's the ones you remember for. Do you guys buy into that? Do you, do you buy into that? Knowing that you have these games, these out-of-conference games, and if something does go wrong, you know, if it doesn't go right, then you'll be remembered for it later on. Oh, yeah, we buy into that because uh, we got to treat every game just like it was a national championship game. Every game is the same. Uh, we take it one week at a time. And it might be a smaller team or a bigger team. If you lose one of those games, you're going to be remembered for it throughout the, whole, like, the rest of your life. Did you get to see Western Kentucky uh, run over themselves a little bit uh, out of the tunnel? And you, you ever had a close call like that running out on the field? Um, I saw it. On, uh, I think I saw it on like the ESPN or something like that the other day. And um, it's been a couple of times uh, we've been running out of the tunnel. We almost tripped over each other just because we're excited to play. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things you saw during the USC game was you saw, you saw Ronnie and Eddie kind of get into it a little bit, a little bit of intensity, and I mm -hmm. guess Nick Saban said it was because of trash talking from the other side. When it comes to composure during a game, how much can you work on that? Is that something you kind of have to learn? Is that also something you have to kind of watch with your teammates as well as the game goes along? Um, yeah, um, uh, probably in high school a lot of people used to trash talk, but here you got to uh, keep composure because you started trash talking, you get emotional. And when you get emotional, you start to make more mistakes, mental mistakes and stuff like that. So. Um, I feel like as time goes on, it'll get better and better. You'll learn how to control it more, your emotions and stuff like that, and just walk away from it. Anything else? Thanks, Devin. Mm -hmm.